Hello, this is Tony Heller from Visitech.ai. In this short video, I'm going to show another example of how using the right tools, we can quickly evaluate a scientific claim. I asked Perplexity.ai about rising sea levels in Manhattan. It said that sea level is expected to rise there by at least 6 to 9 inches by the 2030s, and it is concerning. One year ago, the New York State Climate Impacts Assessment said that the situation was dire for Lower Manhattan. This article showed a photograph from January 13, 2024, and said sea level could rise 11 inches by the 2030s. Now let's check these claims out by looking at actual data. Here's the tide gauge data from NOAA going back to the 1850s, and you can see that there was a big spike in January of last year. Let's download that data by clicking on the Export to CSV button from the NOAA website. In order to analyze that data, now let's go to a website I developed, app.visitech.ai. This is what the screen looks like for subscribers. Now I'm going to take the data I downloaded from NOAA and drag it into this graphing window. That was pretty simple, and now we can look at the data much more closely. Noah gave me four data sets, and I'm not interested in three of them, so I'm going to X them out. Now I'm going to click the Trend checkbox so we can see what the trend's been since the 1850s. You can see that for the past few years, sea level at Lower Manhattan has generally been above the trend line. Now, let's zoom in on what has occurred over the last year. I'm going to do this by right-clicking and dragging. And let's zoom in a little bit further. We can see now that sea level at Lower Manhattan has fallen very rapidly over the past year. That picture from the article was taken on January 14th of last year, which was right at the peak. Since then, sea level has fallen about 0.3 meters, or about 1 foot. If sea level continued to fall at that rate, it would drop about 15 meters over the next century. That's obviously not going to happen, so let's take a look at what's actually going on. This is a map of sea surface temperature anomalies from January 15, 2024. You can see the Gulf Stream pretty easily, and you can see that there was a warm water blob near New York. Warm water occupies more volume, which caused the spike in sea level last January. Now let's take a look at the same map from this week. You can see that the Gulf Stream has shifted off to the east, and now there's cold water near New York. That switch from warm water one year ago to cold water now has caused the large drop in sea level in New York. Let's reset the zoom on the graph. You can see that the latest sea level rating is below the trend line, and it's also lower than it was in March of 1958. Now let's take a look at the west coast. This is sea level at Crescent City, California, which has declined slightly over the past century. I'm going to download this data by clicking on NOAA's Export to CSV button. Now let's look at that data on Visitech by dragging it into the graphing window. Once again, I'm not interested in these lines from NOAA, so I'm going to X them out. I'm going to uncheck the Trend button, and instead check the Trends button. While sea level's been rising in New York, it's been falling in California. So we need to take a closer look at the science in order to understand what's going on. Here's an article from the New York Times showing that the land around New York City is sinking very rapidly due to groundwater pumping. This is the GPS data for Lower Manhattan. You can see the land is sinking very rapidly and at an accelerating rate. So the recent upswing in the rate of sea level rise in New York was due to the land sinking rather than the oceans rising. In 1988, NASA's James Hansen predicted that Lower Manhattan would be underwater within 20 or 30 years. We can check out his prediction by looking at Google Earth imagery. This is Lower Manhattan in 1994, and this is what it looks like now. There really hasn't been any change over the last 30 years. 
NASA's James Hansen is the guy who started the global warming scare before Congress in 1988, but his predictions haven't done too well. In 1986, the New York Times wrote this, A predicted rise in sea level of one foot within the next 30 to 40 years will drive much of the Atlantic and Gulf shoreline inward by 100 feet and some of it by more than 1,000 feet. And they wrote in that article that many scientists are so sure. But as Google Earth shows us, that simply did not happen. This is a graph of NOAA sea level projections for lower Manhattan compared to the actual data. The observed sea level rise in black at lower Manhattan is below their lowest prediction. These predictions of Manhattan drowning due to melting Arctic ice have been going on for a very long time. Here's one from 1934. These sort of predictions make for titillating theater, but they don't have much to do with reality. If you want to understand these sort of problems, you're not going to get good information from traditional AI, because it's simply picking up on what it finds on the internet. To get the right answer, you need analytic AI at app.visitech.ai. New subscribers get a one-week free trial. It would be good if everybody could work with real data and not have to base their opinions on propaganda from the press.